What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex, and welcome to Total Tank Generals. Now this video is sponsored by 505 Games, so thank you very much for, for sponsoring the video, I, I really appreciate it. And Total Tank Generals is an upcoming uh, World War II strategy game, which I'll be playing through the demo uh, today. Oh look, there's Rommel. And you can actually play the demo for yourself starting on October 3rd, which may very well be the li live date of the video. So uh, the, 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 the demo may be live right now. So uh, if, you're, if you think you might be interested in Total Tank Generals, make sure to wishlist the game on Steam, try out the demo starting 3rd of October, and you can also follow the devs at twitter.com slash noobs from Poland. And also make sure to click on that link in the description where you can get more information about the game. All right. Cheers. So uh, Total Tank Generals, you'll take command of an army during World War II and you'll, you'll try and lead them to victory. There'll be different scenarios and historical military campaigns of past generals such as Patton, Zukov and, well, there's Rommel again. You can choose how to compose your forces. Uh, every unit matters along with every detail and there's different ways to complete each level. Let's just jump into the campaign. We, in the demo, Rommel's available. Uh, we don't have access to Zukov or Patton, but yes, we'll click on old Rommel, and I love a map. Any kind of map like this wets my whistle. So, the Battle of Arras. Here we go. 1940. Despite lacking experience in commanding tank units, Erwin Rommel was appointed as the commander of the 7th Panzer Division, with which he has managed to force his way through the Ardennes, a region thought to be impossible to traverse with armoured units. This allowed him to circumvent the Maginot Line and continue his push to the west, eventually reaching the town of Arras. It was in this place the Allies would commence their fiercest attack on the Germans yet. If the British can successfully join forces with the French, the German army will find themselves trapped. Your task is not to let that happen at any cost. There we go. So, we'll be doing the Battle of Arras. And here we have the victory conditions. We need to capture uh, three major strategic points and you can get ranked. <laughs> so if I can do this within nine turns, well then, brilliant. I'm not sure if that will happen or not, but we'll just uh, click on continue. So we already start off with some units here, such as the Panzer Regiment, Panzer Light, and we've got the Anti-Air. And you can see the various units that you can uh, purchase for this level. And we also have, or at least we may have access, once we capture an Air Force, you'll be able to do Air Force missions. And each turn, you'll be able to see how many points you gain with which to spend. So for those of you that love power dropping, you got an option for that. Okay, so we've got some forces down here. Is that more anti-air? We've got some light infantry, more panzer tanks. I'm not going to deploy any additional forces at the moment. We're going to keep what we have. And instead, I'm going to try and capture... Da -da -da -da. We'll send out our panzer regiment, our light tanks. You can also see you have different amount of APs. And you can select perks for your divisions depending on when they level up. So we'll level up the light attack here. And now you can see that we have air force missions. So we can either do defensive support or I can do recon. And I think I want to kind of recon the surrounding area uh, around here just to see if there are any enemy uh, forces that I haven't been able to spot. And hopefully we can maybe get a uh, attack in. Ah, cavalry. Let's move our forces out. I don't think we'll be in range here because as you can see, uh, the line of sight's blocked by the forest. So we uh, we can't we cannot get an attack. But uh, I thought my anti air might be able to, but we're actually out of range. And if we move on to move forward another tile, you can see we're just going to get absolutely pounded by everyone in that area. So my first turn is um, rather passive, but there's kind of an intention for that. Aha! So now uh, we're in range, so I can either do a bit of damage here. Uh, we won't take any damage against the infantry because they're not in range. So we'll just start kind of weakening them a bit and as you can see we also have the uh, the anti-air the flak regiment in range now so let's try and i think weaken the armored cars once again we'll have a little pop at the infantry there with our panzer regiment eight our light tanks and that's my first turn so not a very aggressive first turn but hey ho we'll let them make their move and hopefully come into my range oh crap Okay, so we actually, <laughs> we lost a unit there. Ouch. Well, why don't we do a bit of dive bombing? Yeah, I'm going to dive bomb the, uh, the Royal Tank Regiment. I'm coming for you. Nice. I'm going to get in a uh, 
an artillery division here. Maybe a, a flak gun too. And in terms of tanks, I'm going to get some uh, Panzer three down here. And up here as well. We'll just try and take out the uh, recon here. In fact, we have another shot at it. Because we have enough AP. We missed. Classic. There we go. Didn't miss that time, did we? Ouch. That was uh, that was painful. Okay, I lost work. Okay, that was a bit of a, a silly billy move there. Sending in infantry in range of uh, the cavalry. We missed. Got a hit on that time. Okay, we have our uh, anti-tank here. There we go. Yep. That's their medium tank regiment annihilated. You love to see it. At least I do. Hey, hey. Have artillery to rain down havoc on their infantry in the forest. Yeah, that'll do. Is that a mortar regiment? Yes. Couple of shots from the mortar there. And we're slowly taking down their infantry. You have nothing to threaten me with, except they did take out one of my units, of course. Let's keep up the fire. Keep up the fire. Good. We're in the forest, so they miss me. We'll send our little tanky in here, and we may be able to take out the cavalry. We did. We took a little bit of damage ourselves, but that's A-OK. -okay. Fire. Fire again. Good. They're retreating. Okay, so I think we may be able to, if we have another movement range, we don't at the moment, but we do with this fella. And we'll change this to a motorized division now. So you can see it's all fairly intuitive. Uh, even if you don't have a whole lot of history of playing this kind of strategy game, I think it is going to be very accessible for most people. Like I'm enjoying. It. This is this is this is kind of my kind of strategy game. I really do enjoy strategy games like this. In fact, I might get another. I can't afford uh, any more prestige. Yeah, and we've kind of maxed out our artillery there. Next turn, see what the enemy does. Taking down some infantry. No problemo, no problemo. They've run into my little armor trap here. And they appear to be weakening themselves doing so. Do I artillery the retreating Brits? Yes. <laughs> of course I miss. Oh, dearie me. There we go. Take out the infantry there. Move forward. There's a bit of cavalry. We can move forward again. Let's try and take out the cav. Oh, they still have one and little bit of health. Not what I wanted. Luckily, I can hunt them down with my little panzer. Nope, never mind. I can't. I don't have enough AP. We can take out that unit of infantry, though. And move forward. Uh-oh. Let's try and take down the cav with an anti-tank round. Oh, my good gravy. Spotted more enemy here. That shouldn't be a problem. Just move forward slowly. More of the enemy is spotted. Let's bring up the uh, anti-air to help. And just amass our forces, ready for a... To try and make a breach down here. Spread out our infantry. And our little tanky. Bring the mortar in as far as we can. The artillery can probably move up as well. Do our best to clear the way for our tanks to move forward now. And I might as well bring in another light tank division. Uh-oh. Need to watch out for their anti-tank there. Ah, good. They're moving into my overwatch range. Hey! Oh, they're just getting pounded! Of course, the... Anti-air misses again, but the armoured car can do another shot. Ouch. Ouch. I am actually going to do strategic bombing, or I can actually power drop on them. <laughs> oh No, not yet. Let's trap bomb them. I want to weaken this position. In it comes. <laughs> Kablamo. Ah, oh, some of it missed. Damn. Just firing in, uh, it's kind of a bit of a pain though to kind of get in that on that position. Uh-oh. Should have scouted a bit. We're going to have some trouble getting past that anti-tank position, I think. That's a very fortified position. They retreated though. But they're in the open now, so we may be able to get a couple more pot shots on. Our medium tank's going in, and they missed. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see. Missed again. Man, my tanks are missing a lot more than I would have liked. I'm gonna try and mortar this position. Just keep hammering their position. 
try and force them out or get them to retreat. Being able to fire at a distance is really quite a nice boon for me. They won't be able to hit me there because of the forest, which is great. So I don't know that I'm going to get a massive victory. Oh, they're resupplying. That's not what I wanted. Oh, that's bad. Where they've got such entrenched positions, it's actually getting really tricky. I'll just try and mortar them as much as I can here. They're all retreating. Oh, that is good. I think when they retreat, they won't fire in on me. I'll see. No, they are still going to fire. They retreated into the forest too, which is not ideal. So I'm not really using the terrain to my advantage here. I should be using more of the forest to kind of... Ah, they've retreated again. We have no AP, but I could deploy... I could I could deploy a tank right there. That would be amazing. I do want to clear that position out a bit better, though, if, I, if I'm able to. I'm going to try and get a lucky shot in on the... Ah, I missed. Damn. Okay, that was... That was a bad miss. <laughs> I won't lie to you. Oh, my goodness me. My tank accuracy trying to get through these forests. The amount of forest tiles that I'm having to try and penetrate is too damn high. Let's move forward and... I would die if I use that. In fact, I think I'm in a bit of a vulnerable position in general on this uh, blank. Let's kind of go more up into the woods and withdraw a little bit there because I'm getting a bit nervous about that position. I'm going to deploy a tank and just hopefully get a cheeky hit. Nice. I'm going to hope that I can get around them and just go through into a harass here because I don't think this capture point matters because we have two of the main ones now. So we're pushing in on a ass, and they're coming in to my overwatch, which is amazing. You love to see it. Uh-oh, they took out some armored cars. Their medium tank is a beast. So is their mortar fire. Ouch. Yeah, I need to use terrain better. Okay, but we can use our uh, heavy tank here. Not heavy, but we'll take out the mortar at least. Nice. Increase our defense against... Uh, any attacks there? I could resupply. Yeah, resupplying my units here is, um, I think, going to be key for the advances. It's costing me um, any remaining money, though. So rather than deploying new units, I think if I was to play this again, I would definitely focus on more on resupply. Let's dive bomb their medium. Not quite what I was going for. Let's use our artillery. Just keep shooting. Good. They're not in range of me here. Ah. Uh, die. 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 No, don't miss. Jeez <laughs> Louise. Finally. No, they're still alive. Oh, my days. Jeez Louise, fellas. There we go. Absolute mess there. Jeez. Oh, 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 oh. Wah wah wee wah. I think I'm going to overwatch some of my units. Oh dear. I'm going to be doing a resupply here. Except for against this bad boy. See if we can dive bomb that tank again. Oh beauty. Absolute beauty. Just keep pounding that. Oh that was, that was a lucky shot. That was a lucky shot against the AT there. Move in. Uh, you're not in range! Well, we're forcing them to retreat, at least. Let's try and take out the AT. You, you've got to be kidding me. They're retreating! Bastards! They're going to retreat too, I think. There we go. I'll try and take that point so we get extra funds. Let's just increase our defense here. I still need to desperately try and take out that AT, and we have. That is a massive boon for me. That is great. We can push up more on their kind of flanks here. They're still retreating, so they're not going to attack when I move into their zone of control. That's probably going to die, actually. I should have kept that back. We'll move our artillery position forward. I'm probably going to move the mortar forward so it's in a better firing position. Let's begin to move around on the flank a bit more. Get into the forest. Get into the, get into the right terrain, basically. I'm not going to get three stars. Unfortunately. Good. Our leveled up infantry here is doing a, a stellar job against their infantry. Wow. Yeah, they're taking down a lot. Nice. Nice. Oh, they're entrenching. You have no power here. 
They won't get any damage on me. We might be able to take them out. Good. Here they don't... They shouldn't deal any damage to me either. Instead, no, nope, yeah, we're just taking them out. Wow. Okay, we can actually move up ahead quite a lot. I don't really care about getting ultimate victory. I just want to win. I have to start pounding their position here. Missed. Classic artillery. Classic. What about with the mortar? Classic. What about with a dive bomb? It's the AT that I'm scared of more, more so than anything else. Nice. With a lucky hit, we could take them out there. They have infantry. They have motorized. Keep firing on their position from the forest. They're retreating. Fantastic. Fire on their AT again. But they're retreating. Oh, that's nice. Just go all the way around here. I don't know that they have anything on this flank. Interesting. This is, I'm getting so into this. I can only get one more unit of infantry. That's fine. Enemies making their move, but we're in we're in good positions. Except for the mortar. But we're in the forest, so that's going to negate some of their advantages there. Let's try and kill their AT. Oh, for... Let's try again with the artillery. Oh, my days. <laughs> oh. Let's start firing from the uh, other side of the city onto their positions. Weakening their mortar. And again. And again. Nice. And you are going to ignore rivers. Okay, I do actually have the mortar ready to fire. We've got two hits. We missed. We missed again. Lovely jubbly. Missed again. I tell ya! They missed and my AT got them. Fantastic. Man, this one is, uh... Ah, it's a motorised anti-tank regiment. Another one. Absolutely brilliant. Oh! Let's get into the forest for now. We need to really think about this. It was me thinking we were almost there. Entrenchment's gone. Oh, please live. No! No, no, no! Okay, it's time to say goodbye to that. Start firing on their infantry. Three uh, three hits will do nicely. Man, a besieging a town is a bit uh, tricky, isn't it? At least that's what I... <laughs> Come on, stop missing. Keep hitting. That's fine. I'll take the hit there. I mean... They're all in overwatch and I think they're entrenched. So we are going to retreat from that position. But now... Oh, that's not going to deal any damage whatsoever. Okay, let's try and... Just keep mortaring them. Hopefully that does something. Weakens their tank at least. There we go. Keep hitting them. Keep going. There we are. Well, we've got them penned in. I'm going to wait another turn. I know I, I know my... Uh, I may get a major, a major, a major victory here. Let's try and hit the tank. Classic artillery, pound them. One of the units is retreating from that position. Fantastic. We'll send two more mortar shots in. Even if it doesn't cause any damage, we may be able to force them from that position. When more units are retreating, I'll move in more here. Just need to get them to for I'm just, I'm just trying to force them out of that position, you know. We've captured them. Go on, take it. It's yours. <laughs> Victory. There you go, son. Oh! That's satisfying. Thanks to a swift and confident reaction, we have managed to repel the British attack near Arras. And yes. And prevent the Allies from joining forces. Good. It was in this battle that Rommel made the brilliant, unconventional decision to utilise Flak 88 anti-aircraft guns in an anti-tank role. Thanks to this victory, Germany managed to secure the newly conquered territory, reaching all the way to the banks of the La Manche Channel. The momentum of the Wehrmacht offensive could now be redirected north, where encircled Allied forces near Dunkirk found themselves between a rock and a hard place. Well, there we go. Uh, I'll definitely be playing more of Total Tank Generals. And if you do want to try this for yourself, make sure to click on the link in the description, add it to your wish list, try out the demo. Thank you once again to 505 Games for sponsoring this video. Uh, from the demo, it's a heck of a lot of fun, and I can't wait to play more. Oh, also, if you do play the demo, let me know how you did in the comments. 
and leave a like and subscribe. There's a Luga, I think. Ta-da! Many thanks to Turquoise Zong, Ian Clark, Kim Eric, Richard Cruz, Amazon Fulfillment Strategist, Daniel Orr, Maximilian Foreman, Wire Green, Onion Duck, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Jack Troku, Chickaly Crotch, Logan Whaley, and Bash for being champions of the Rambler cult here on YouTube. And many thanks to all the other patrons too!